All right, hello, this is Mr. Swift, and I'm here to help you draw um, using SketchUp. We're going to draw something like this today. So first thing you do when you start up SketchUp, we're going to grab a new template, and the template we're going to use is millimeters. So click there. Now, when it starts up, SketchUp is really good at 3D modeling, but we're going to use it for two-dimensional modeling. So we have to do a couple things before we start uh, drawing. And one of the things that we need to do is go over here to the side, and we're going to go, cl click on the clipboard, and that's our views. And we're going to go here, and instead of a perspective view, we're going to change that to be a parallel projection. And then now, after we click parallel projection, we're going to click on this, which is going to be our top-down view. So you can see here, this is the lady. She was two-dimensional. And now looking down on top, she's just flat. So I'm going to click on her and delete her. All right. Now, another thing that we need to do with our template is we need to change the units. So we're going to click on the little symbol that has the I for model info. And we're going to put it into centimeters. We'll change our position to 0, 0.00. Um, I also like to um, click on my angle units. I like to put my angle units down into single degrees and 0, 0.00. So again, double check and you've changed it parallel projection, top down, change our model info to 0, 0.0 length units in centimeters, 0, 0.00 in our precision, and our angle units are 0, 0.0 with angle snapping at 1. Now that we have those, we can actually close them. We won't need them anymore. All right. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw the wheelbase. So we'll come over here and grab the pencil tool. We'll draw a line from here. And I'm just going to put it in the direction I'd like it to go. And um, if you look down here at the bottom down here, we can type in the value that we want. And our wheelbase that we want is 44. So I'm going to hit the tab key and then 44 return. And you can see down here that we've got that. So um, I'm going to hit escape, and we're not drawing a pencil anymore. Now the other tool I really like to do is click on this zoom extents, which is this one right here. And that will just zoom in, keeping that line um, in the window for us. All right, now the next mark that we need is the wheelbase. And what we're going to do instead of drawing a line for the wheelbase, we're going to use... We're going to use a tool that's called a measuring tape. And I'm going to click here on the measuring tape. And I'm going to start here at the end. And I'm going to drag it in the direction I want it to go. And I want it to be 19.8 centimeters. Great. And you'll see now that there's a little dot or a little pencil mark right here at 19.8. And um, so from here, I want to use the protractor mark. And we're going to measure our C2. We'll grab the protractor tool from here, and then I'm going to come over here and click, click again, and now the angle is going to be 107. And um, I'm going to double check that, grab my protractor tool again, I'm going to click there, click on the horizontal line, and click up, and I can tell down here in the lower right that that is 73 degrees, which is good. So the other time we need to use that is up here at the front. and all right, we're going to click on the protractor again, and this time we're going to go to the front, and this one needs to be 69 degrees, so I'm going to click twice, place it, click it again, start drawing it, and so 69 degrees is 111, so I'll hit my tab key and do 111, return, and then I'm going to double check that angle. Good, so that's 69 degrees. All right, so now one of the things that we can be doing along the way is we can also be adding um, our dimensions. So I'm just going to click here on dimensions, click on the full wheelbase of 44, and click here on the rear chain stay of 19.8. Right. Now we'll draw the seat tube now. The seat tube is really easy. We're going to grab our pencil and we're going to draw from kind of our bottom bracket area, and we're going to draw up along that angle, and you can see um, that 
it's kind of snapping to that angle. And all I need to do now is hit the tab key and type in 12 for our C tube length, and it marks it. And there again, I can grab my dimension tool and I can click on that line and pull out. And I've got that. All right. Um, and I could also just now add the rear triangle. I'm just going to click and draw something like that. All right, now we're going to draw the front end. And the front end is um, a bit more complicated, so um, make sure that you're following along with me. The first thing we need to draw on the front end is the offset. We're going to draw the offset of the fork with the circle tool. So we're going to come over here to our rectangle, grab our circle tool, and click. And now this needs to be um, 2.2 centimeters. So I'm going to type in 2.2 and return. And there's our offset. So now we need to draw another angle off of that. That's going to be the same as our, um, our fork angle here. And that's going to be using the protractor again. Click. And I'm going to click here. Click again. And remember, this was 111 degrees. There you go. So now we've got our head tube angle here, and we've got our fork offset. We could draw a line to show our offset. Draw a line from here to there. there. And we could um, even measure that. Get our dimension tool. There's our offset. All right. Now, we don't need this circle anymore, so I'm going to hit delete on that. And we don't even need this, uh, this angle here at the front anymore. We can delete that. Um, so now what we're going to do is draw our axle to crown. And our axle to crown on uh, these little bikes is uh, 21. So I'm going to grab a circle tool again, start it here at my axle, and then the radius needs to be 21. There you go. So. What we need to do is draw a line from our axle to where that circle crosses over our head tube, and that would be our axle to crown length. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit, clicking here where the two lines intersect, and draw down to there, and that's our axle to crown length, which we just drew. So now I can delete out that really big circle. We don't need that anymore. We only needed it to measure. And then now I'm going to measure out our axle to crown length. There you go. All right, now um, I'm gonna zoom in up here and we've got a couple more things to draw. Um, the first thing we're gonna draw is the bottom of the headset. And the bottom of the headset is 1.1 centimeters. So I'm gonna drag up along the line. This is my head tube line. And I'll type in 1.1. There you go. And then the next, and I can measure that. I'll put my measuring tool on that and drag it out here. And then now we're actually gonna draw the head tube itself. And the head tube on here is 5.5. So I'm going to click on my pencil tool, draw a line from here up, and then I'm going to hit my tab key of 5.5 and return. All right, now I can uh, grab a measuring tool again and just make sure that I got that right measurement of my head tube. There you go. Now that I got my headset put in, I can draw a line um, going across horizontally to my C tube, and that would be my top tube effective. Grab my measuring tool again, click, and pull up. All right, so now uh, we just got a couple more things to do to get this kind of completed. I want to draw a line from my head tube down to my C tube, and then I'm going to draw another line from the bottom of my head tube. So let's zoom in and remember that this space right here is my headset. So I need to click here at the bottom of my head tube, and then I want to bring that back down to my bottom bracket. And then I can delete out this big triangle here. So there's kind of your dimension frame. Now, we got a couple things left to do before we um, finish this up. Now, one of the things I want to show you is a really neat tool called the Offset Tool. The Offset Tool can be found here under the Push Pool, and it looks like this. And that's called the Offset. So we're going to use the Offset Tool and I'm going to click on this back triangle, and then I can kind of drag around and show like how much do I want my C stays to be thick, or how thick do I want my C tube. You can kind of click anywhere that you want. 
and then now I could go ahead and click out the inner part of the triangle and that leaves us just with uh, the C stays and chain stays. And I can do the same thing on the front as well. And I can pull out um, kind of as big or as little as I want. Click like that. And then now again, click out the middle. And now I've got a nicely uh, drawn frame. All right. Now, one of the things I do want to do is paint uh, this frame. So I'm going to click the paint bucket. And when you click the paint bucket, the materials tab shows up. And um, there's actually a whole bunch of materials you can use. And we're going to um, search. So use that search tool over here and then we can click on colors and now you can paint the bike whatever color you want so I'm going to paint this one purple so I've got my purple paint bucket and now I can just drop that purple paint in there on the frame All right now I don't need the paint materials anymore so I can close that All right. last thing we're going to do is draw some wheels and what we're going to actually do is draw the wheels over on the side and then bring them over so to draw the wheels we're going to create use the circle tool and I'm going to draw a circle and the diameter or the radius of these are 15 centimeters. So I'm just going to pull out my circle tool and then I'm going to type in 15 and hit return. Now we're going to use that knee offset tool again to draw the tire and the rim. So I'm going to click offset, click on the circle, and I'm going to offset this four centimeters. So then I hit the tab key, hit four, and then I'm going to offset that again and I'm going to draw that at two centimeters and that'll be my rim. All right. So now I could click out the center. We don't need that. And we could use actually use the paint bucket again. And now um, let's find like a black and a gray for the tire and the rim. So there's my tire. I'll click on this kind of lighter gray for the rim. Oh, that looks too much like the background. All right, there you go. So I don't need my materials anymore. I can close this. And what I want to do is actually take my wheel instead of treating it as three different lines, I want to surround the wheel and then I want to right click and I want to do something called make a group. And if I do that, it's going to treat that whole thing together as its own item. So I'm going to make that into a group. And now if I move it, I can actually just move it from the center here. And then I can place it over here. Now one of the other neat things you can do when you're using the move tool is you can also co copy it and um, if you hit control while you're doing that you can actually pull over and make another new front wheel All right so uh, there again I want to use the zoom zoom extents and it kind of pulls out a full view of the bike that I've made All right. I hope learning those tools um, will allow you to draw your own bike frame. I know that we just drew the one based on the dimensions I gave you, but your next step will be to draw the one that you need for your own project. You need to save this. So I'm going to come up here and I'll call it, uh, call it Scoop Bike. I'm calling it Scoop Bike number four because I've made a couple other ones already. But click Scoop Bike number four, save it there. And then now I'm done. And now your next step would be to draw your own bike. All right. Good luck with that, and uh, 